MGF Custom Slash Reviews. What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today we are doing another review on a brand new LEGO Star Wars 2013 set, and this one is the Republic Troopers vs. Sith Troopers set, and the set number is 75001, it has 63 pieces, and it is ages 6 through 12, my god, only 63 pieces, I didn't realize that until now, wow. Anyway, uh, this set is really cool, it has a really low piece count, and I honestly think this set should probably be maybe a little cheaper, but honestly, LEGO, they have their official prices, they can't just, like, mix around prices, so I can understand why they couldn't, um, you know, retail-wise. But, uh, this set is okay, the vehicle that you get is pretty stupid. Um, it has two big stickers and two flick fire missiles, the two things that make a LEGO set, uh, well, LEGO set's quality degrade. But um, you, what's really good about this set, apart from the crappy vehicle, is that you get four absolutely incredible minifigures based off the older public PC MMO game. But uh, before we go ahead and jump into the minifigures, let's go ahead and take a look at the box that this set comes in. Just like the Clone Troopers vs. Droidicas set, this box is ex the exact same size and utilizes the new decrease in size for the um, smaller sets. But as you can see, the specs are right there on the left side like always, and you have a nice picture of uh, the minifigures battling it out on what looks like Alderaan. However, if you look at that Sith Trooper, he looks like a giant. <laughs> um, and then you have the Star Wars Old Republic logo on the corner there, just like the, uh, summer, the Old Republic summer sets. You have the actual size picture right there. Info. Info. And then you have uh, the back here, which shows all the, the uh, features that I'll be showing you in just a second. And you got an action shot right there. More info. And more info. <laughs> so, uh, really simple box. Not exactly the best box art we've ever seen, but uh, it definitely works. And uh, anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and dive into the minifigures. So we're going to start off with the first standard Republic Trooper, and this one, easily the highlight is the newly molded helmet, as it is a completely new design, and it uh, is just really cool to see LEGO make a Re Republic Trooper helmet. Even though it doesn't resemble the ones that we saw in the cinematic trailers, it, this is I still recognize this one from the game, and it's really cool to see it in LEGO, as it has all kinds of... Um, ventilation details, orange striping, an entirely printed visor, and you can see um, more ventilation detail there, which is really incredible. And then we move on, and you see all the indentations, and it's just a really amazing helmet sculpt, and then that. Um, it gets ruined because the entire back is exposed. So what you would have to do is basically take a black head and replace the face. And we see what's, what's, what's kind of a shame here is that the face, uh, Lego has actually decided to recognize that the, the um, older public troopers and the Sith troopers were not just clones of each other. And uh, they were actual real dif different individual people. So Lego has included four individual separate faces that are completely different from one another. And it's just really awesome. However, it kind of gets ruined if you want this figure to actually look really good because then you have this entire back exposed and it's just kind of like, do, 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 boom, done. Um, you know, it's just, it's just kind of weird. Um, but it's not a terrible issue because we've seen Lego do this before. But anyway, he does feature the standard uh, long rifle that we have seen before. Nice to see that return again because we don't get to see this that often. Um, but anyway, you can see the torso there, the, the printing and the detail is just downright incredible. I mean, you just look at that and you see all the little blue lights, all the little lines and the orange stripe. And then it rep you see like a shadow as it continues down the chest. It's just a really amazing torso. And then same with the back. It's just really, really fantastic. And then you see the uh, leg printing here. Leg printing is just amazing. I could just see all these amazing printed parts being used for so many other things. Maybe not even Star Wars. Like, this is just... Like, Lego with all their new printing with these new 2013 figures, it's like a Lego revolution. 
The next Republic Trooper is pretty much the exact same thing, except he has two differences. One, he is wielding a minigun, which is made up of about um, five pieces, as you can see there. And, I mean, it's a simple design, but it definitely works, and it looks pretty awesome. And you can also see uh, that his face is different. Like I mentioned before, LEGO recognized that these are not these these people from the actual story are not clones of each other and they recognize that and actually put it you know and they applied that to their figures and it's definitely I definitely appreciate it that they're paying attention to the canical um, details so like I said nothing different about this guy except that he has a separate face and a minigun moving on we have a brand new sith trooper now this guy he kind of, obviously he doesn't look like this one so my guess is even though lego calls them both sith troopers this one must be a higher rank considering his armor colorations compared to the other one um but anyway the helmet is the exact same helmet that we have seen on all of LEGO Sith Troopers in the Sith Fury class Interceptor and in this set. Um, they, these Sith Trooper helmets have not changed, but however, I absolutely adore them. As you can see, the Sith emblem there, you see all the details, the ventilation details, all the little red markings. And then you can, if you look there, you even see a little tiny bit of a bulge there. I mean, LEGO has just really gone into detail. And then you see the indentations going around and all of the three-dimensional shapes. It's just a really incredible helmet, like I stated in my Sith Fury Glass Interceptor review. But uh, again, a new separate helmet, because these guys are not clones of each other. And uh, the, believe it or not, this is the Lex Luthor head. So uh, nice to see that again, because I, I actually use this head quite a bit for custom. So nice to see that it'll be more common now. But uh, anyway, you can see that the torso is, as well, really, really detailed. You've got all kinds of little lights here. Um, the the uh, chest plate, which almost looks like Darth Vader's chest plate, just obviously different colors. You see his belt there. It's just really amazing. And now on top of it all, this is all printed on dar a dark red torso. And dark red torsos aren't the most common torsos in the world so it's kind of a pleasure to see that and then you see even more awesome detail on the back and then the legs are also printed which is always amazing because lego was never one for lego for Le lego lego was never one for leg printing and it's just really great to see them taking the initiative to actually print these legs because i admire printed legs so much because it makes these figures just look so amazing especially with all the detail lego is able to cram it to each leg now the following Sith Trooper is pretty much the same Sith Trooper that we got back in the Sith Fury class Interceptor, but funny story is, at one of the recent, not recent, but one of the toy events, like Toy Fair or Comic Con, just one of the toy events, um, or at least one of the events where toys were shown, um, this exact trooper had, I, I believe it was maybe even the same leg printing that we see now, but it wasn't actually included in the Sith Fury Glass Interceptor, and we were all disappointed. But now in this new set, this new 2013 set, LEGO has done this figure justice, and basically, um, almost it's almost like an apology, because we were all expecting leg printing on this guy, and we didn't get it. And now here it is on this updated figure or variation of the figure and the leg printing looks absolutely phenomenal i mean you just look at those lines and the knee pads it's just really great and then you see the torso the torso is really amazing too you got the belt the chest plate the little red light red and blue marks to represent lights it's just really amazing and the helmet is exactly the same as the helmet on the higher ranking sith trooper so i'm not going to repeat myself with that but as we continue, you see that the uh, back torso here is just, as well, really phenomenal and just a really... This is, these Sith Troopers and Old Republic minifigures are just really remarkable minifigures. And a good example of how amazing these Old Republic minifigures would be like would be like Darth Malgus, Jace Malcolm, you know. Lego, they really pay attention to these Old Republic figures and make them really amazing. And then his face is uh, basically the Loki face, the Bruce Wayne face and probably a bunch of other fa um, characters that LEGO has reused this face for, but uh, it's not a bad face, and I don't mind seeing it again. Alright, so as you can see, the minifigures are pretty awesome, but uh, before I show you the actual set, the really simple set, uh, let's take a look at the extra pieces. You get four extra pieces, and uh, considering the uh, really low piece count, I would not surprise you only get four extra pieces. Um, but uh, there's not really a whole lot of pieces that you could lose in this. 
because uh, you know the set is made up of two big pieces you got the two long flick fire missiles etc um but uh then we also have the instruction manual and uh here is that and uh not really a whole lot to it it's got the standard um lineup of the winter line as you can see there which i've shown like twice already <laughs> um and then you also have the lineup of all the minifigures from the winter line excluding the minifigures from the bark speeder um, barn mhc and the echo base but uh yeah they're pretty awesome like i said i really love the poses and then you can see that advertisement for uh, lego.com slash star wars and uh yeah and then you just got instruction book stuff so you know not a whole lot to go over there so unlike the Clone Troopers vs. Droidicas set, this one is a really nice army builder because you get four minifigures rather than just two minifigures and two uh, characters made up of pieces because who the heck doesn't want both Old Republic Troopers and Sith Troopers? Because both sides are just awesome, especially with the way LEGO recreates them in LEGO with all the new printing, all of the new helmet designs and the usage of, of all the multiple faces is just really a great set but uh, I've already gone over the minifigures so uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this very strange vehicle and I'm not even sure if this is in the game if this is actually in the game can you let me know in the comments I'd really like to know and I don't want to spend like two hours on Wikipedia trying to figure out because I, I when I the, during the short time that I play the Old Republic I never actually saw this vehicle in the game but uh, anyway as you can see uh, it has two huge stickers, one there and one there, and uh, I guess that's LEGO's uh, quick way of adding detail. Um, not exactly the best way though. Anyway, you can see there are two flick fire missiles. Kaboom! Kaboom! Fun! And uh, let's go ahead and reload. And uh, then we get the handlebars with which the Sith Trooper can stand on. And like I said, I'm really glad that LEGO has decided to make little hooks and, you know, little, um, little posts for all these accessories that these awesome figures come with to store their weapons and accessories in. Because uh, it's kind of annoying having them all lying around. So you can stick his gun right on that little hook there and then take, his, you take the actual figure, um, of course, turn his hands. And then you can get have have him stand up on this speeder pretty nicely. Um, and even though, like I said, it's not the best vehicle in the world, I'm still kind of happy that LEGO took the initiative of making that little um, convenience. And I'm really fond of it, actually. I love that LEGO is actually doing that now. Um, but anyway, now that I'm done obsessing over that, you can see the uh, handlebars can pretty much are on a hinge. And, you know, those default hinge pieces that we see everywhere. Um, but, uh, you can pretty much get the picture there. So he can have him, I guess it's just like, he hits him with a minigun, it's just like, kaboom! That works. But, uh, really nothing else besides the engines there. You can see those there, those are just made up of a cylinder piece with two light green translucent studs on both. Uh, and then you can see the bottom, which is made up of just some, which, just a few tiles, and, um, just some flat pieces and those... Uh, hover pieces to make the bottom of the vehicle slide smoothly across a hard surface. But other than that, there's not much else to this set other than that um, very dull little speeder. It's not the most amazing thing in the world. Um, there are definitely better sets out there. Um, but again, this set is definitely where it's at for the figures. Uh, if you want the actual vehicle, I don't know why you would get this set. It because uh, it's definitely the figures, they are what makes this set. And without them, this would be a poly bag. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Um, so do I recommend it? I definitely recommend it for army builders especially. And uh, for playability, I guess, because it has the flick fire missiles. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend it for playability because it is actually pretty sturdy despite its really boring design. Um, so definitely recommend it for all ages. It's definitely a pretty awesome set even though the vehicle isn't the greatest. So uh, that about concludes this review, guys. I think this might even be like the shortest review yet, but uh, I guess that's a good thing, right? Anyway, I will see you guys later, and uh, all right. Bye.